You're listening to the 127th edition of the Bitochen Podcast. And we are reading from Psukim in the Dawud Hashem Oiri. And we go on. Kavel Hashem. Chazak v'yamitz libecho v'kavel Hashem. Hope to Hashem. Strengthen and strengthen your heart. Double language. And hope to Hashem. Beautiful Pasuk. Reminding us that we have to always work on our bitachin. It's not enough to talk about bitachin once. We have to keep talking about bitachin. And we have to keep having bitachin. And if it seems like our bitachin didn't work, have bitachin again. There's no end to the, to the obligation to have bitachin, to trust in Hashem. It's something that we need to constantly work on. Let's see together. This, this Pasuk we're going to actually, I think, spend two weeks on because there's so many beautiful things here and I, I, I just want to share them with you. I want to go over them myself and I don't, I don't want to miss anything. I don't want you guys to miss out on anything. So let's look at this together and these are Psukim again that we are reading together in our daily Tvilos, our prayers. So let's look at this and think about this. Hope to Hashem. Rav Chama Rav Chanina says it's a Gemara in Brachos. Imra Adam sheispal of leinene yachser vispal. Let's say a person sees that he prayed, Hashem, please help me. Whatever it is, give me, send me parnasa, some livelihood, send me a refuah, heal me. But he doesn't seem to have an answer yet. Pray again. Hope to Hashem. Strengthen your heart and hope to Hashem. Our sages tell us, There are four things that we need to strengthen, we need to constantly work on. When it comes to learning Torah, we need to strengthen ourselves. We need to study, and we need to study again. We need to encourage ourselves, remind ourselves, come back to it. It's not something that comes naturally and just flows. Good actions, good deeds. Kindness to others. We need to constantly work on that. The third thing is tefillah, prayer, which we're going to see. doesn't just mean prayer, but it also includes bitachin. It includes Trusting in Hashem. Prayer and bitachin require constant reinforcement. And the last item is Derech Eretz, which Pashtas, when our sages talk about Derech Eretz, they're talking about livelihood. When it comes to working on our parnasa, it's something that we need to strengthen ourselves in. We have to come back to it. We have to work on it. Tefillah how do we know that when it comes to prayer, this is something that we need to strengthen ourselves with. Shenemar kaveh el Hashem. Hope to Hashem, right? The word kaveh, which means hope. It's a word that's used in regards to bitachin, and it's also a word that's used in regards to prayer. Kaveh el Hashem, chazeg yemes levecha v'kaveh el Hashem. Hope to Hashem. Strengthen your heart. Hope to Hashem. It's something that requires reinforcement. You've got to come back to it. You've got to work on it. Or come back to it. You've got to work on it. In the bottom he brings here, Hamagin mi Dubna, Sefer Amidus Mefarish. The Dubna Magid, in his book Sefer Amidus, he explains that Kavona Betfilo Hainu Pitochen, Zilash Shanishon. When he talks about prayer, it's referring to Bitochen, our faith in Hashem, which we've spoken about at length, being hand in hand. Prayer is something that's Machazik our Bitochen, he strengthens our Bitochen. Let's see what he says. Our sages say that there are four things that require strengthening, and one of them is bitachin. Hope to Hashem. Strengthen your heart. And hope to Hashem. Like we find... Rabbi Nassadi Goyen says, There was a particular righteous individual who when he would finish his prayer, he would say the following, 
ריבונו אלוהים, אם אתה יודע, תקה נויסי, אוהבן הנגוסי. להידתיך ולהעריך עליהם. שם you know me, you know how I behave, you know what I do. You know I can't hide anything from you. But I'm not telling you this because I want you to harp on my behavior. אלא שארגיש בגוי לא חסרוני. Sorry, not just my behavior. You know what I need. You know, you know everything that's going on in my life. And you know all of my needs. You know what I'm missing. I, I'm, I'm talking it out. I'm asking, Rafaeinu Hashem, heal us. I'm asking, Baruch Aleinu. You know, give us parnas, or give me my livelihood. But I'm not telling you all these things because you need to know them. You know them already. Because I need to recognize so clearly that I am missing these things and you are the one who I turn to to bring me the things I need. So this chassid who said these words after his prayer was coming to show that the purpose of his tefillah, why do I ask Hashem for my needs? God knows what I need. The purpose of my tefillah is to strengthen inside myself the recognition that He is the one who will give it to me. He is the one in whose power it is to provide these things that I need. We have Ram the son of the Rambam says this as well. Person needs to strengthen his mitachin through prayer. The prayer is what helps my mitachin because I'm recognizing and reminding myself it's up to him. Depends on him. If God wants me to have these things, I'll have these things. Inside of himself, the person is trusting in Hashem. When I ask Hashem for my needs, when I say, God, heal me, I say, God, provide me with Parnasa, I'm showing my belief, I'm strengthening it on myself, the belief, the knowledge, the confidence. That it's it's him. It's up to him. Vayim with mikhtav echad me'at tzadik riz misalant. I think this is Reb Zundel. Shugayim with megabar zudah b'tochen sar chizik. It's it's brought down elsewhere from other mafors from other great sages that when it refers to tefillah, when it refers to prayer, it refers really to b'tochen. We need to strengthen our mitachin over and over again. We need to strengthen our belief, our recognition that it's Hashem who provides for us. Let's go on. Adam Samech Mechelkoi, Hagam Shelo Yieloi. He brings here from the mission of Chacham and Larry Moshe Chagiz. A person who is happy in his portion. Hagam Shelo Yieloi Al Malis Moich. Even though he do, even though he doesn't have upon whom to to depend. Yishayim Elakov. He should depend on his God. Because everything comes from Hashem's hand. Now, a person who is happy with what he has, right? He doesn't have a lot. But he's happy with what he has. He feels like everything that he has is exactly what he needs. And he feels like he has the ultimate enjoy- enjoyments in life. Let's see, he has a simple tie. Has a simple tie to wear on Shabbos. But for him, he, he, he feels like this is the nicest tie. The nicest tie that exists. So he, he enjoys it. Right? Just because a person is happy with what he has, doesn't mean that he can't say, Hashem, please help me get better. He shouldn't give up that the pain or the difficulties that he's going through will subside. That the fly that's flying around his head will fly elsewhere. He shouldn't, he shouldn't give up. He should have bitachim. 
וכן אומר קווי לשם חזק ים מסביבך וקווי לשם. Hope to Hashem, strengthen your heart, hope to Hashem, כביס ובוא לך תקפוץ וחזור וקווי. Again, same idea. If you hope to Hashem, if you had bitachon, and it doesn't seem to have worked, you prayed, you davened, it doesn't seem to have worked. Strengthen your heart and hope again. And as I've said previously, and it's such an important thing, sometimes we expect that our bitachon will work, and we'll get what we want. It doesn't work out, and we feel, we feel disappointed. I had bitachon to fly, would fly away. But it came back, right? So, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. How come my bitachon is not working? But there's an Indian to have talking just in and of itself to trust in Hashem. To trust in Hashem to develop my relationship with Him. Even if Hashem says no. No, the fly's got to fly around your head. He brings now the Divrei Shol. Because of a Ramban, the Af, he made the Adam Shumskos. He brings from the Ramban. That even if a person doesn't have any merit, A person is not a tzaddik. We're not perfect people. And there are people who are wicked even. They don't have any merit at all. But the very fact that I trust in Hashem, that in itself is a tremendous merit. And the reason why it should be answered. And, and because I'm trusting Hashem, therefore I can trust in Hashem. Because I now have the merit of trusting in Hashem. So that's why Chazal say, amazing thing. If you see that you weren't answered, have bitachon again. Strengthen yourself and have bitachon again. What does it mean? He love. It could be that even though I wasn't answered yet, it's because I didn't yet have enough of a schus, enough of a merit. But the fact that I had bitachon, the fact that I was mispal, I prayed, and I trusted in Hashem, that itself is a merit. So now I'm, I'm so to speak, cleaned off already. Now I can try again because I'm, I have something to build on. Now I can, I can have my bitachon, and perhaps the next time I have bitachon, that will be enough of a schus, enough of a merit for me to receive what I'm asking for. Nice idea. Now he brings from the Machana Yisrael of the Chavetz Chaim. Really? Really, I'm just checking the time here. We still have time. Another beautiful idea. Amar b'chia rabba, k'siv, k'avi l'shem chazav v'yem esdibecha v'k'avi l'shem Chabetz Chaim brings Rabbi Chia Rav, the great Rabbi Chia said, Trust in Hashem, strengthen your heart, and trust in Hashem. Daven again and again. Don't give up. You prayed it didn't, you shouldn't have asked you. Don't give up. There's going to be a time that He's going to give you what you request. Says the Chavis Chaim, you don't only have to daven in the Amida in the morning when you're saying Shmon Esrei. That's not the only time you can daven then. Of course you can. But, that, but a person can ask God for what they want at any time. It's not limited to when we're davening Shmon Esrei, we're davening Shachos Mun Chamarev. I'm walking along in the street. I can quietly say a prayer. God, help me. You don't need to pray in Hebrew. You can, uh, you can ask Hashem for your needs in your native language. English is just fine. Hashem understands English. This is how you need two elements. When you pray, when you daven, you need two elements. Aleph. When you pray, it shouldn't be a superficial prayer. It needs to be from the depths of your heart. You have to really mean it. You have to really feel what you're saying. Abba. You're talking to Kodesh Baruch your Father in Heaven. Abba, please answer me. Please give me my needs. Says the if you can get yourself to cry, if you can get yourself to a level of sincerity where your mom is crying, it's amazing. It's powerful. 
says that all of the gates are locked except for the gate of tears. So what does that mean? The Chavetz Chaim is telling us that you need to be sincere in your prayer as to come from the depths of your heart. And tears are the greatest show of sincerity. That's the first thing you need. It's to be an ernst to tefillah. It's to be real. Second, you need to direct your prayer. Send it to Eretz Yisrael, your prayer. Send your prayer to Eretz Yisrael and then send it to Jerusalem. And then send your prayer to the Evan HaShesiyah, which is under the Dome of the Rock. Send your prayer into that spot, the Holy of Holies. If you have these two ingredients, you will never be turned away, says the Chavetz Chaim. Incredible! Listen to this. Listen to this amazing thing. He's saying uh, uh, another pshat. He's saying that it means that if I'm sincere, Kaveh Hashem, hope to Hashem, Chazav Yom Zedecha, they ask to come from the depth of my heart. Kaveh Hashem, Kaveh means direct, direct it, a straight line, a kav, a kav is a straight line. Send your prayer directly to Eretz Yisrael, the center of the earth. Send it to the center of Eretz Yisrael, Yerushalayim. Send it to the center of Yerushalayim, the Kodesh HaKadoshim, the holiest place in the world. That's where the prayers go up. You're standing in front of the Kisei Kavu when you pray like that. Shem cannot turn you away. He must answer your prayer, says the Chavetz Chaim. Now the next points, the next points I will we'll touch on, we're going to stop shortly. We'll leave something for next time. The Ibn Ezra says something also, which is really quite amazing. And there's a lot of, we're, we're saying over a lot of ideas here today, so try to contemplate and, and absorb what we're talking about here, because these are really powerful. Chazak v'yamitz libecha poyol yaitzeh. Says the Ibn Ezra an amazing thing. Kaveh Hashem, when you hope to Hashem, when you pray, when you have bitachin, the result will be that your heart will be strengthened. There's a rule. When you daven to Hashem sincerely, when you hope to Hashem, when you put all of your heart into it, like the Chavetz Chaim said, Hashem will strengthen your heart. You'll have confidence. Not sure exactly what the Ibn Ezra means here. The, the explanation of the words Kaveh Hashem is something that you need to have constantly at the beginning and at the end. It's, it's, gonna, it's going to be that if you have Kaveh Hashem, if you're, perhaps you could say this is what it means. If you are constantly hoping to Hashem, if you are constantly praying, if you are constantly having mitachim, the result will be that Hashem will strengthen your, your heart. You will have courage. You will succeed. Radak. Kaveh Hashem Pam Shenis Ratzalaymer. Why does it say it twice? Hope to Hashem, strengthen your heart. Hope to Hashem. What does it? What does it mean? Why does it say it twice? Ratzalaymer Shatia Boya Tik for Tomid. The Tomish Lavava. It means it doesn't just mean try it once, try it a second time, and then give up. <laughs> it means do it and do it again and do it again and do it again. Have me talking one more time. Pray one more time. It's going to work. It's going to work out. And if it doesn't, don't give up. Don't give up. Rabbeinu Yoyinu, last, last thing we're going to read here today. This is something we've learned together before, but it's worth repeating that when I have a hope, when I hope, it strengthens itself. It reinforces itself. Let's say, uh, you know, I need to work on my bitachim before the problems start. 
if I'm working on my Bittachin, what happens? When the problem comes, I already have it inside of myself. Right? What happens? I'm coming to a situation where it seems like I'm in trouble. My sins are strong and they're going to knock me down. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be punished. But if I've been strengthening and working on and strengthening and working on my Bittachin, my faith in Hashem, so that faith is going to be more powerful than my fear of my sins. Hashem, this is how this is Hashem's Hanhaga. Rabbi Yon is revealing to us a secret that when a person trusts in Hashem, strengthens his trust, the 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 kindness of Hashem is stronger than any sin that I have. Hashem loves me so much, He focuses on the positive. I just learned this in the Tamar of the Vayra, beautiful Sefer about the way that Hashem acts with us and encourages us to act like that with others as well. But Hashem forgives the sins and looks at the kindness. Hashem has compassion upon, upon all those who show themselves to humble themselves to God and all those who request His compassion. Benemar Kichan of Arachamu. Pasik says Hashem is the ultimate compassionate one. Benemar Kavel Hashem Chazak Viyamis Tibecho. What does it mean in our Pasuk? Hope to Hashem, strengthen your heart, and hope to Hashem. Berish Tikvo to Chazak Alev. It means that this hope strengthens the heart. With Chazak is Alev, I'll give you a Tikvo. When I strengthen my heart through Bitachin, the Chazak Atikvo, I believe it to God, Allah Tikvo Yaisir. It reinforces. My bitachin reinforces my bitachin. If I weaken my heart, it weakens my hope. It weakens my bitachin. When I strengthen my heart, it strengthens my bitachin. Thank you so much for listening. See you again next time.